All right, y'all, I'm really excited about today's video. Today we're going to be asking the question, there's rust inside of my electrical panel? And this is something that we come across all the time. Whether we're on a service call or we're getting ready to change the panel out, we run into situations where there's rust inside of that panel. And the question is why? Why is the rust there? Is there anything we can do about it now? Is there anything we can do to prevent it if we do change our panel or install a new panel in a new home? So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. So let me get my pointer out here. This panel, it's kind of hard to tell from the picture, but it is inside of the drywall. First thing that you notice about this panel is it's been painted as well. So the day that it was installed, it was painted. Poor craftsmanship, probably painted bus bars, just you know, bad from the start. You can notice there's a huge level of degradation in here from, from water. Rust down here, rust on the bus bars, rust up here, oxidation everywhere, rust on the breakers. And listen, if there's rust on the breakers, there's rust inside the breakers. So in this case, this is going to need to be replaced for sure. Don't wait because if there's rust on the breakers, there's likely going to be rusted inside the breaker. Are they functioning? Do they work? You know, let's go ahead and swap it out. But let's talk about the reasons why this happened. One reason that this is going to happen is because of air exchange. So right here, this pipe right here, now it may come in right here on your house or right here on your house or right here or somewhere in this scenario or come in the side. This is leading to the outside electrical meter usually or some outdoor electrical panel. Now you may be at a sub panel in the system and it might be some of the other reasons that we're gonna talk about. So this is going to be exchanging air. This pipe right here, if it is a pipe at your home, is gonna be exchanging air with the outside. It's gonna be exchanging air with the outside. So if it's not been sealed up, and nowadays we seal them up for this very reason. And there's several reasons that water can be getting in, but this is one of the main ones. So let's say this panel's in a you know, a basement that is, you know, temperature controlled. So it's in a temperature controlled basement. Well, outside is not temperature controlled. And in between here is just going to be a condensation tunnel, right? And it's exchanging air. It is drawing the outside air in under certain pressures. And it's drawing the, out, the inside air out under certain pressures. And some panels, you can take the cover off and feel the wind blowing inside. Depending on the pressure, depending on whether or not you have the basement door open. And the difference in temperature is creating essentially a condensation chamber for this panel. And that's probably what, ha what has happened in this case here. But we're going to talk about some other reasons why here in just a second. Now, another re way that water can get inside your home is through uh, just a leak in the meter can outside or in the connection behind the meter. So the meter is going to set against your house. And I say meter, I mean meter socket or the outdoor electrical disconnect, whatever it is. And you're going to have a pipe likely penetrating the house at some point. Or it may drop down beneath your meter and pop in the house. Well, water can literally ride in on that pipe and ride straight into your electrical service. It doesn't even have to be on the inside of the pipe. It can ride on the outside of the pipe. Water can collect outside, gravity wins, it flows down, and it flows inside your house. It can, however, be inside the pipe. Water's collecting in the meter, coming down, riding down those conductors, and riding straight down in. Sometimes it can be riding in from your weather head. Rides in from the weather head, rides straight down those conductors, straight into the house, and down into your home. So there's a million different ways that water can get into your home. Let's talk about another one. So another one could be that you are in a heavy moisture area like a, a block wall basement, for instance. And though that block wall is drawing that water in, which is in case I've seen it rust out the whole back of the panel. I've seen it completely rust the panel out completely. You wonder how it's even functioning at all. But there can be so much rust in there that the outside cover's rusted. And it's just, I mean, you can almost see it like growing inside there. It's kind of crazy looking when, if you ever... If you've ever seen it, you can leave it in the comments below. Um, but with that being said, there can be so much oxidation and so much water just on the outside of the panel that it just has nowhere else to go. And again, that, that change in temperature. Let's say this was a block wall behind here. Lots of moisture in the back. It could be running water you know, during the heavy rains. And then you have uh, temperature controlled on the outside of this panel. It's creating just a moisture barrier, essentially. So let's talk about some ways that we can fix this. Uh, you know, and I want to talk about one more way that I've seen. It can ride in on a gutter. So a gutter can be leaking, whether this is block or not, running down the wall and running straight in this panel. A lot of times this panel's you know, screwed straight to the back of the wall, or excuse me, it's screwed to the sides, but it's pressed against the back of the wall. A gutter can be leaking or a piece of fascia or anything, and water literally ride down the back of the panel and rot off the whole thing. So let's talk about some ways that we can prevent it and some ways that we can stop it if it's already happening. Now, if you come to your panel and it looks like this, you need to replace your panel, okay? We cannot trust that these breakers are working. This 
I don't, I can't even tell if this has a main brake or not. It looks just like a main lug panel, but it's hard telling. Long story short, you cannot trust these components in this in this condition right here. So with that being said, some ways that we can prevent it before it happens is just one of the main ways that we stop the first case, which is the exchange in air, is nowadays we'll actually caulk this right here. We'll either fire draft it from outside, inside, uh, with an approved foam, approved duct seal, uh, caulking, whatever's approved to be in contact with the wire. Now you do not want to go back and do this later in this scenario here because this is likely going to be the first point of disconnect, meaning that these wires right here are um, unfused. So that means there's no way to disconnect these wires. So do not stick your hand inside this panel. Remember, never repeat anything in these videos. Just use them for educational purposes only. But if we were to do a panel change or a new install, we would stop the draft into here. Uh, likely we're going to clog it from outside where the meter is, either with insulation or another approved method like duct seal or an approved caulk, and we can also stop it from here. That's going to stop the exchange of air. Stopping the exchange of air is going to be a huge um, benefactor in this situation because you're not drawing that air up and down. You're not drawing moist air down. You're not potentially drawing moist air out and corroding the panel. Another thing that, that stopping up that pipe um, can do is actually prevent physical water from coming down. So we've got physical water pouring down into the panel, and you know that's going to you know can potentially stop it. Hopefully, right? Another way too, check your gutters, check your seams, check the pipe coming down. Um, if you are on a block wall when you do a replacement, if you have to do a replacement, you can coat the block wall with an approved method. Then you should be putting a piece of treated plywood, then putting this. If you've got moisture in the basement, use a dehumidifier because what can happen is just even that panel being in an area where the um, – you know, the moisture is high just in the area can rot a panel out. It doesn't even have to be exchanging. If the whole area is at a very high, uh, you know, has very high humidity, very high uh, moisture content in, in the air, it can rot the panel out. So this is just a lot of really common sense things. But if you're going to replace it, don't just stick it back in the same scenario because you're going to come back and it's going to rot out. And I tell you, with the quality of the panels we have nowadays, the quality is much less than the older panels. It's going to rot out faster. So you just kind of really, it's a lot of common sense, find out where the water's coming from, prevent the water from coming in, stop the moisture from coming in, and if you're doing a new install, do everything you can to think about the way that the water is going to flow. Who was it? Bruce Lee that said, think like water, my friend. So you want to think like water, how's it getting in, how's the moisture getting in, and how can we stop it? Yeah.